This digestive cookie is what I used for making a pie crust in the key lime pie recipe. Although they look like graham crackers. In terms of digestive cookies, I prefer the taste of the Spanish brand Gallen, excuse my pronunciation Spanish folks, to the British national crepe McVitie's. So I thought, why not using the same ingredients that listed on the Gallen package to see if the end product will resemble the taste. Also worth mention that, unlike McVitie's, Gallen has no preservative added. Here's the thing. I've experimented with the ingredients and found these work for me. Not too crumbly, too oily, or too sweet. And they are whole wheat flour, wheat bran, wheat starch, baking powder, baking soda to refine sugar, and table salt, milk, corn syrup, and some vegetable oil. The process is extremely simple. First, add the milk to the wheat bran. Mix, set aside, and soak for 15 minutes. Next, in the mixing bowl, add a whole wheat flour, wheat starch, and baking powder, baking soda, sugar, and salt, and one. Mix well, dump in the corn syrup, and oil, and the soaked wheat bran. Mix everything together. In the beginning, it may look a bit too dry, but I suggest you judge later. When the majority of the wet ingredients are hydrated, change to the hand and mix further. Slowly, you will notice the dough becomes less crumbly. If you snap a small piece and press it in your hand, it will be able to form shiny cookie dough. Yet, if you pinch it, the dough will fall apart and look crumbly again. This is what you're looking for. Give the dough a final work till it just comes together. Transfer the dough in the center of a piece of parchment paper. Top it with another piece of parchment paper. Use your hand to press down a little bit. Then use the rolling pin to spread and roll out to an even flat thin sheet about three millimeter or one and a quarter inch thick. Put the whole thing on a baking sheet. Gently get rid of the parchment paper on top. Now I'm going to trim the edges and patch the sides to make it look more like a rectangular. This is definitely a cheating way to reduce the workload. Otherwise, I have to cut out a circle shape, need the remaining dough again, and cut out again, and so on and on and on. Remember, all the dough will be used for the pie crust, so why bother? Use a fork to poke tons of holes. After that, use a knife to mark the size of the cookie, which will make the cookie separation easier after baking. These procedures resemble the feature of the graham crackers too, but truth to be told, this recipe in a way is quite similar to the graham crackers. Put it in the oven, preheat it at 180 degrees Celsius or 355 Fahrenheit, and bake for 15 to 18 minutes, then cool to room temperature. Parchment paper may appear a bit oily. But the cookies themselves don't feel greasy. Let's look at the cookie itself. Snap one open, and it resembles the coarse texture of a digestive cookie. And it tastes like one, except that it's much crispier when freshly made. Chill.